Welcome to the marketing automation add-on demo video by HOffice. This powerful tool allows you to send a series of emails and WhatsApp messages to your customers automatically at a set frequency. You can use it across various modules, whether it's sending follow-ups, when a new lead is created, after an invoice is sent, or when a lead is lost. The automation isn't just limited to just the scenarios. There are plenty of other ways you can use it across different parts of HOffice to make your customer communication easy and efficient. So let's see how it works. So first of all, we have to do the uh, automation setup. So for that, let us uh, log into the system using an admin account. All right, so let's go to the setup first. So here we are taking an example of uh, an automation workflow that is getting triggered when a new lead is being created. So this is a particular workflow that we are designing wherein uh, this is an industry specific workflow of uh, pharmaceutical businesses that our company wants to target. So whenever a new lead from the pharma industry is coming, we want to send them uh, seven series of emails and WhatsApp communications at a frequency of three days to them. So uh, let's assume that a new inquiry has been registered in the system and every three days we want to send them a new communication using by applying this workflow. So let us do this configuration in the system. And uh, for that, let us go to the lead. Keep a note that uh, like for whichever module you want to use this automation, uh, you have to go to that particular module setup. So currently we want to use, a, uh, use it for lead. So we are going to the lead setup. Let's assume that you want to apply some workflow on your contacts. So you have to go to the contact setup to configure this. So under this setups, you will find lead automation workflow and lead automation templates uh, options. So first of all, you need to configure the templates and then you can create a workflow. So let us start by creating uh, templates for this workflow first so that later on we can select this template uh, for the workflow and then we can apply it. So let's go to the lead automation templates. So here as you can see already created templates are available that you can see and uh, now let's click on the add button to configure a new template. So as you can see the first field is name. So this is basically an internal identifier that you apply to this template. The, keep a note that this name will only be available in the system. So whatever the communication is going outside, the name, uh, whatever you write in the name field will not uh, will not appear. So for now, uh, let's assume that uh, I am designing a series of uh, communication. So this is the first template. So I'm naming it uh, one template one. Okay, so I've given a, a rough name. And uh, uh, I also want to identify it as a pharma uh, CRM campaign. So I'm just uh, giving it a proper name. Okay. So subject line is going to be the email subject line, uh, which will go as a subject line in the email. So like you can give a proper name here. Uh, so subject line is extremely important so that uh, it should be catchy enough. When someone reads the subject line, they should, uh, you know, uh, get excited to read the content about it. So we would suggest you to give a proper subject line. So let's add a subject line here. So let us just, uh, we already have a content readily available with us. So currently I'm just copy pasting that content from uh, my Google files. Okay. So uh, then the next field is the description field. So you can type in whatever the communication you want to send to your customer, but keep a note that this is going to be the simple text editor. If you want to have a simple text message, you can, you know, compose your draft here. But if you want to send a designer HTML newsletter, you have to do an HTML coding for that. So currently we have made one designer newsletter and for that we have to copy paste the code here and for that we have to click on the source button and then we can uh, you know copy paste our uh, HTML code here. So let us just uh, uh, copy and paste the code to this file.
So once you paste your code, then you can go back to the uh, regular uh, body part again to have a view like how your template is going to appear. So as you can see, my template is looking like this. Okay, so looking at the template, it looks uh, nice. And now we would like to proceed further. And along with the emails, I also want to send the WhatsApp messages. If I don't want to send the WhatsApp messages, I will keep this field blank. If you just want to send the WhatsApp messages, you can keep the above subject and description field blanks as though these fields are associated with the email only. But I want to send both the communications at the same time on a set frequency. So I also have a WhatsApp communication message ready with me. So I'm just uh, copy pasting it again from my file to here. So here I have pasted my WhatsApp message. Also keep a note that if you want to apply any sort of system variables, you can click on the help for this page button to find the details of the variables available that you can utilize in email and WhatsApp both. And now along with this WhatsApp message, I also want to send an email, uh, sorry, send an image with it uh, as a thumbnail. Okay, so for that I can attach the image. So this is the image that I want to apply. Uh, I want to send along with this WhatsApp message. So now, as you can see, uh, my image is also associated and you can see it in the URL box. And then the next field is about the status. So if I just want to inactive this uh, communication, this message due to any reason, I can make it inactive any point of time. And if I want it to be utilized in the campaigns, I will make it active. Even if you, if it's in the draft mode, you can use an inactive status. Then the next field is uh, send, select send. So whether you want to send this communication on email and WhatsApp or both. So as I want to send it on both the platforms, I will tick mark both the platforms and I will save this template. Okay, so now our template has been saved. So this way you can create all of your templates and make them active. If you want to edit or delete them, those options are also available. So now let us quickly configure all the uh, templates. So, oh, okay, so we have already configured uh, all of the pharma templates for the demo purpose. So the next step is once you have configured all of your templates, you need to go to the lead automation workflow to define the automation strategy. So as you can go and see here, the all uh, like as you can create as many workflows you wish. So as you can see, there are already uh, plenty of workflows have been created here. Let us try to show you a new workflow. So let's create a new workflow and I want to give them a name Pharma CRM workflow. So give a proper name to this workflow, which becomes easier to apply while you work on the leads. Okay, then uh, there's a launch on field wherein you find various options like when you want to launch this workflow. Uh, so I want to launch this workflow and once the lead is created, so the right option has been selected and other options are also available. Like uh, if you want to trigger this workflow from the assigned date or the lead has been won or lead has been lost or from the current date or from whichever date you want to launch this workflow. So these all options in the launch on date leads workflow are available. You can select the uh, suitable option for you. Moving forward, moving forward, there are fire automation before and after options are available. So as you selected the launch, the trigger point, now, when do you want to trigger it after a particular event happened or a particular event happened? So here in the lead scenario, most of the times the after option will be suitable. Uh, there are several scenarios wherein a before option could also be utilized such as uh, if there is any product expiry date or if there is any sort of due date on support request or task for those kind of modules. Uh, let's assume that I want to send a WhatsApp and email communication before two days or before five days. So in such kind of scenarios, before option is being used and in the majority of scenario of lead after option is being used. So once the, uh, once the lead has been created, uh, 
uh, then only uh, you know i want to trigger this uh, workflow so i have selected the after option and then the next option is select type of automation whether it's a single message that you want to uh, trigger or there are multiple instances you want to trigger so select whether it's a single instance or a multiple instance here we want to send a seven series of communications at a set frequency so we will select multi instance options so once that has been created now here we have to actually enter that how many templates we want to send so there are total seven templates as i have mentioned that we want to send so we'll enter seven here then the next field is select the frequency of interval in days okay so let's assume that i want to send each communication at an interval of three days so I will enter three in this field and the moment we have selected seven in the templates now as you can see seven template selection options are available but before that there is a status field so at any point of time if you want to inactivate this workflow you can do that uh, and uh, if you want to active uh, then uh, simply click on the active button and underneath you need to select the template. So let us select the templates now, which we have created in the lead automation templates one by one. So the first message that you want to send should be selected first and then second and then so on. So let us quickly select all the messages. Okay, so currently instead of seven, we have only we are only ready with the six templates. So let us just set the uh, number of templates to six for now instead of seven. Uh, so once you change the uh, template uh, count, you have to again select all the templates. Okay, so we have selected all the templates again and now we will save this workflow. All right, so now the workflow has been created. So the admin setup part is completed. This is a one time process that you have to do. And once this is done, now you can apply this workflow on any of the lead that you are receiving on a day to day basis. For doing that, let's go to the lead tab again and uh, let's select any of the lead for an example for now to apply the workflow and to do that simply click on the uh, simply select the leads on which you want to apply the workflow so i'm selecting the leads from the lead home page and then we have to click on the bulk update button and there is an option called apply lead automation so we need to click on that as you click on that, there is an option, there's a field called scheduler will appear, but it is nothing but the drop down of selection of workflow. So select the workflow that you want to apply to this lead. So let us apply the workflow that we have just created. So I've selected that workflow from the drop down. Then the next field is select automation to employee. So this field is basically about if I also want some of the employees to receive the same uh, communication just as the client is going to receive you can add those names here and then the last option is send automation to all followers so like uh, if you don't click on this button the only primary contact uh, the primary contact which we have added in the lead is going to receive all the communication but if you want all the followers of the leads to receive this communication you need to click on this button so once it is done mm -hmm you can submit this and the automation will start triggering. So this is how easily you can apply the workflow to any of the leads. And once this has been applied, you can check the status of any of this, uh, you know, uh, communication uh, in the grid view by looking at the scheduler created colon. If the tick mark is green, it means that the currently automation is in progress and it's running and if the tick mark is in red it means the workflow has been triggered successfully and all the communications have been delivered successfully on that particular lead and if there is nothing in this uh, uh, in this cell it represents that the automation is not been applied yet 
and to check the details like if i go to any of the workflow to show you like how uh, from where you can see all the communication status you need to click on the lead automation workflow under the lead detail page and clicking on that you will be able to see the status of the each and every communication that has been sent to the client so this is how you can easily configure and trigger the automation workflow in the system uh, similar to this uh, lead you can apply it any of the modules i mean uh, the various modules this functionality has been uh, is been delivered successfully and many more modules are going to have this option soon okay so now let's see how one completed workflow and all the communications triggered to a client appears in their inbox and dms so as you can see uh, this seven emails have been triggered to this client and as you can see we have set the frequency of three days so every three days this communication has been triggered to them and uh, let's just click on one of the emails to check how the content appears so this is how the email has been triggered to them so similar to the email uh, let me also show you one uh, whatsapp campaign that has been triggered so in this contact as you can see on every three days gap such kind of whatsapp with images and emojis has been triggered I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.